Uh, for me, it's a subjective thing. It's our calling. Then put in an exercise based on the... Yung ating, tawag niya yan, uh, highways. Okay? So, yan po yung trabaho ng civil, eng uh, civil engineer na specializes in transportation, which is they call transportation engineers. Okay? Of the uh, Army General Science High School, we would like to present the Certificate of Appreciation to Engineer Jay Manzano na Baduna for his invaluable services and expertise extended as guest speaker on engineering during the conduct of work immersion webinar series on May 14, 2021 for the senior high school students. Presented via Zoom on 14th day of May 2021. Signed by yours truly, the work immersion teacher and our school head, Mr. Bernardo D. Vigitari Jr. So I will just send the, the PDF copy to your email or to your messenger. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. And now let's proceed with the impression or the closing message from one of our participants. May I request one participant to give his or her impression to our guest speaker and to our topic. Anyone? Yes, sir. Um, I would, uh, before I'm going to start, I would like to to thank our guest speaker, Sir Stephen, Stephen Dave Dupo, for an, for an uh, enthralling presentation. And, and um, during the session, sir, um, as what I learned in fisheries, is, uh, is fish, fisheries is an enterprise of, of harvesting or raising, uh, raising both in, raising fish both in in fresh water and ocean and oceans. So during that presentation presentation sir, in general, sir, I learned that fisheries exist for 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 the purpose of providing human food and and objectives such as genera generation of economic wealth and 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 man maintaining the viability of of fishing fishing community. That is the discussion provides us a lot of knowledge and it made me feel gratified and it's been an honor to be among such successful indi individuals and to be present my perspective before you all. Thank you and good day. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our work immersion, the webinar series. So today is April 11, 2024, and we have now our um, guest speaker. So let's start. So this would be the... Uh, this would be the flow of our session. Let me um, share to you my slide. So this would be the flow of our session, preliminaries, um, roll call of the participants, introduction of the guest speaker, followed by the session proper. So um, late, later after the session proper, you will have the chance to ask questions for our open forum. Magtanong kayo sa guest speaker niya if you have questions. Then we have the virtual presentation of certificate, impression, and the last one is the virtual photo opportunity. Um, preliminary, the, the one that you have watched a while ago is actually, yun yung mga ginagawa namin dati. There, there are two um, webin, uh, there are two work immersion na nangyari um, before this, uh, before pandemic and during pandemic. Kasi before pandemic, we have the face-to-face, -face, um, we have the face-to-face -face work immersion. But suddenly, nung ano, nung nagkaroon ng pandemic so we, we were not able to have face to face um work immersion but we have a webinar so ito yung ginagawa natin din so there is a combination of a face to face um work immersion and we have also a webinar so maswerte yung mga batch ngayon kasi hindi lang yung face to face yung ating work immersion kundi meron din tayong webinar to uh, 
to ano to to open more um opportunities para sa inyo so ito po yung mga uh, participants natin so we have 55 um we are expecting 55 participants for this session so there are 55 students po na inaasahan natin na magiging um participants natin for this webinar so these are the participants And let's proceed now with the introduction of the guest speaker. So our guest speaker for this webinar is an associate professor for the College of Engineering in MSU Marawi. He is an alumnus of our school also. Um, batch I I forget the batch, but mamaya sila um si sir si engineer yung um uh, about um uh, about himself um after this one so our guest speaker for tonight is no other than engineer Raymond S. Labadad. good evening sir and welcome to our work immersion webinar hello good evening can you hear me sir yes sir okay do the honor sir thank you okay so i'll proceed Let me share my screen. What is this? All participants. Okay. Can you see my screen? Okay, good evening once again. Uh, thank you, Sir Side, for inviting me to speak on this webinar. And I believe this webinar will be very helpful for graduating students, uh, for those students who are planning to enroll for college. Um, I remember before, nung kami, uh, in our time, <clears throat> sorry, I have no idea sa about college and even courses, kung ano yung mga courses. So when I, when I took the entrance examination in MSU Marawi, wala akong idea kung ano yung kukunin ko na, <laughs> you know, we have to check in advance kung ano yung kukunin na um, na course um all i know is magaling ako sa mathematics so <laughs> i choose na uh, i-check yung uh, bs mathematics because i want i really wanted to be a teacher so i uh, wala akong idea about engineering so until i knew that um one of my uncle is a teacher in marawi and he's teaching in civil engineering so he gave me idea Sabi niya, uh, magaling ka naman sa math, so why not mag-proceed na lang sa engineering? So I, I took engineering, but I had no idea uh, about engineering and I was even afraid, you know, baka pag may engineer na, baka masira yung, masira yung building na i-design. Uh, we have that fear. 
na ano, yung mga tulay na ma-design, baka masira. So, but anyway, until I I become an engineer, uh, I I learned to love my my job and na appreciate ko yung ano, yung engineering. So, it's good that you have this kind of uh, webinar. So, I know you we, some of you already have plans on what you will be taking in college uh, but this one is very helpful for you to give an overview of the courses possible courses na kukunin ninyo sa, sa college so i'm very thankful this is my second time actually to speak in this webinar so i'm expecting those people last year na nagraduate na so and these are new students na ngayon. So uh, hopefully I can inspire you um, in this uh, lecture or webinar. Okay, uh, so by the way, I have, like, wait. So I am from, from Ambo, Barangay Sarmiento, Parang Maguindanao. I was born there and I was looking at the list of name na gipresent ni sir kung may tagaambo pa parang wala akong nakita tagaambo <laughs> and that list of name but anyway so currently I'm still connected in in Mindanao State University Marawi City I'm a associate professor there uh, I also finished my my degree in bachelor of science in civil engineering also in I am Ishu Marawi and I got my master's degree in Mindanao State University, Iligan Institute of Technology. And currently I'm pursuing my doctorate degree. Uh, this one is a double degree. So I have two universities, uh, one in Japan, Hokkaido University, Japan, and, and, and here in um, Tomasat University. Thailand. So currently, I mean, I am in Thailand now. So, okay, so we will discuss about uh, engineering. Uh, last time I noticed that when I present, it took us like an hour. So I will try to make it shorter this time. So we will have much time on uh, question and answer. And which I hope you will, you should have uh, a lot of questions. Okay, so I'll just be giving you an overview about uh, about engineering and specifically in my field as a civil engineer. And so most of my examples, although my lectures will be about uh, in the, about engineering, but most of my examples I'll be giving will be related to my field of civil engineering. All right. So so what is what is engineering? So I have here in my presentation, I hope you can see it in the presentation. Let me just arrange my screen here. Okay, so engineering is the application of scientific and mathematical principles uh, to design, create, and improve structures, machines, systems, and process. So it is more on application, okay? so. Engineers try to figure out how things work and find, let's say, find practical uses for uh, scientific discoveries. So scientists, they discover, while us engineers, we turn these discoveries, these concepts into applications. So scientists and inventors often they get the credit for innovations and advance but it is engineers who are are the instrumental in in making those innovations or discoveries available to the world okay so engineering use their knowledge of we use the knowledge of physics mathematics and other science to develop innovative solutions to 
various problems. You know, we have questions sometimes uh, in our mathematics na subject natin is uh, uh, when we deal like, let's say, square root of two. <laughs> Saan ba natin magagamit yung square root of two? We question those things, right? Those are, those are concepts, uh, principles. But uh, you cannot appreciate that while you are in pure pure science or pure mathematics but when you are in engineering you will learn to appreciate that those concepts when we will really are going to use those concepts so our foundation in engineering is mathematics physics and all those uh, natural sciences those are our foundations and then we just apply those those concepts okay so Engineering has a big role in shaping our future, our our society, our, our world. Okay, so it is it plays like let's say a pivotal role in shaping the future by by using or taking advantage or leveraging on the scientific principles that we have. So it's not enough that we know you know like this concept, but how do we apply this? concept into a practical and useful to for humanity and for the world okay so engineering engine in engineering we try to improve the quality of life so here are the some of the uh, points where engineering in, where engineering plays a crucial rule role in in shaping our or in or shaping the uh, our future okay so one is like engineers is uh, are innovating are innovating for so, so for sustainability so engineers are at the forefront of developing uh, sustainable solutions to let's say uh, climate change trying to develop like uh, renewable energies, technologies, uh, efficient ways, managements, and sustainable construction practices. And there are also engineering um, branch, uh, branches of engineering that deals with like uh, advancing healthcare. They try to develop cutting edges, uh, cutting edge medical technologies. Uh, like prosthetics, imaging devices, bio biocompatible materials. Uh, in engineering, also we're trying to enhancing uh, uh, communications, telecommunication engineering. I think you've heard about that. Uh, later, we will ex I will try to give you an overview about different uh, engineering fields. So we have computer engineering that transforms how we connect you know, and communicate. So we also have building resilience uh, infrastructure uh, in civil engineering and structural specifically. Uh, we are responsible in designing, building, and maintaining the infrastructure that supports modern life. You see, now, uh, in our place, di ba, frequent na masyado yung lindol in our place, uh, special, specifically in Philippines, we are uh, the Philippine city settings. Nasa ano tayo? Nasa Pacific Rim of Fire, so very frequent. Uh, here in in Thailand, na uh, wala masyadong earthquake, so yung mga building nila dito maninipis masyado yung mga mga poste, and then the, may freedom sila na magpataas ng building. But in Philippines, it's very crucial na ang, ang work ng engineer uh, because we have earthquakes. So, so, you know, you see sa Facebook or in, in the news na yung may mga, uh, they say na, oh, makagawa kami ng bahay kahit walang engineer, kahit, <laughs> kahit panday lang. Okay, you can do that, you know. Any everyone everyone can do a house, but but the assurance, you know, yeah, assurance na na masisira ba or magretain ba yung building natin 
in the presence of yung mga earthquake, calamities, typhoon, ganun. So, it's us engineers. That's our job to, to secure, not just about the money, uh, about the economy aspect of the building, but it's more on safety. So, we give, we give uh, safety and assurance to the users. So, more than the money involved. Okay. So, that's part of uh, engineering. So, and also we, we are trying to drive technological advancements. So, engineers are the key, uh, let's say, the key players in te technological innovations. So, we contribute in advances in like artificial intelligences. Um, uh, robotics, uh, nanotechnologies, and and more. So we we do it as an uh, I mean those are tasks of uh, engineers, and we we as an engineers we also try to address global challenges. So we use our engineering skills to tackle global challenges from uh, ensuring access to let's say clean water. Uh, reliable energy sources, um, agriculture, technologies that increase food production. And there are many aspects of our human lives now that are where in engineering is very, uh, very, uh, let's say, useful and very important. Okay, so if you become an engineer someday, you have many opportunities working opportunities and which we will tackle also later okay so there are many uh fields of uh engineering but these are the most common uh fields of engineering that um what's this uh the, these are the most common civil i mean fields of engineering that we can see in our uh, most colleges in the in the Philippines. So, uh, but there are other engineering, which I, I have, I haven't mentioned, I will, which I cannot mention for now, but uh, it's up to you to explore on that. But I'll just let me, I'll just give you an overview of these common uh, in types of engineering that we have. Okay, so, but each of these uh, discipline focuses on specific areas and applications, but they all share a common goal of um, utilizing the concept of of scientific and technical knowledge to develop the to develop such practical solutions on different uh, fields. Okay, so we have here. Uh, the civil engineering, uh, mechanical engineering, uh, electrical and and chemical engineering. So, so it depends. Um, as I told you before, na nagindrol ako ng engineering, nagindrol ako sa, I mean, nag, nag take ako ng ng entrance exam sa college na without knowledge or idea. Na <laughs> I even has no idea of going to school or going to uh to for college uh, wala akong idea mayroon pa palang ganyan i i thought you know after high school and then we that's it and then we go to work uh but then uh anyway luckily i i i took the entrance exam and then and then so I, we have to choose for some courses but uh, I did not choose civil engineering. I have no idea about civil engineering. So, these the topics that we are I'm going to like to give a lecture now. This will give you an overview um, on which engineering you. Uh, maybe some of you may mga plano na mag engineering, so this will give you an overview about uh, types of engineering. Okay, so we have a civil engineering. So civil engineering, it deals with the planning and design. This is the most popular uh, field of engineering. I think all, especially in our place, like uh, when we say engineering, they always think of, of civil engineering. <laughs> so when they say, oh, engineer, 
once you are an engineer, oh, that means you can design a building. So people are always thinking because uh, this is the the most popular field of uh, engineering. So civil engineering, it deals with the planning, uh, design, construction, and management of uh, various structures, uh, including it includes buildings, uh, bridges, roads, tunnels, dams, airports, water supply systems, and other infrastructure. So you see this, this field, that's why this is most uh, popular because we always see around, like you see it's infrastructure, you see buildings, you see roadways, highways, right? So whenever you see those infrastructure, you always think of uh, civil engineering, okay? So we have also, oh, there's a question. I always uh, ask this by my students. So what's the difference between uh, civil engineering and architecture? Because all architects also design uh, buildings and civil engineers also. But I tell you like, um, Building design is just one part. Uh, it's just one as a specific field of civil engineering. There are many fields of civil engineering, and building design is just one work of civil engineering. So, what's the difference between civil engineer and an architect? So, let's say to explain this simply, architect is concerned on the aesthetics and the functionalities of the buildings. While engineers or civil engineering is concerned on the strength of the building. So the architects, they are concerned of the beauty, I mean the beauty and the functionalities. So um, whenever I see an infrastructure, let's say uh, I see a building, I can, al I can always say that um, masasabi ko talaga kung architect yung nag-design or, civil, or uh, just a civil engineer kasi uh, ang architect, you know, they design if you see in the figure here the architecture, you know the, they design like very complex um, yung aesthetic ng, ano, ng, build, ng building while so they are concerned about that the functions so most of the time, the clients uh, or yung mga owner ng building, they, they hire the architect first because they are that's the expertise of the architects, especially the functionalities. Let's say the clients wants um, a hospital or a hotel. So mas expert yung mga architect in terms of the arrangement ng rooms, let's say hotel. Uh, ano yung arrangement ng rooms at ano yung arrangement ng mga ng other functions of the of the building right so it must expert sila sa ganyan but in terms of strength ng building let's say uh, if the building can sustain or can stand with the magnitude 7 or magnitude 8 of, of earthquake so you have to go to the the uh, civil engineer or the structural engineers. Okay, so yun yung ano. Now, actually, the pwede natin sabihin na the uh, the engineers. I mean, the yeah, the the engineers can live without the architect because you know we can also draw, right? Uh, we can also design a building, but the architect cannot live without uh, civil engineers. Because uh, wala sa kanila yung, yung pag-design ng strength ng building. They are only concerned of the beauty and the, the aesthetics. So if you have the talent na kung magaling ka mag-draw and then magaling ka mag-visualize ng mga designs, then I, I bet you can take uh, architecture. Okay? Um, but we we will learn it later uh, about uh, in details about engineering. So what are the skills you need to be na para maging engineer ka? Okay. So but anyway, that's that's to answer the question. 
about the difference between the architecture and civil engineering. Okay. So not necessarily, I tell you, not necessarily na you are good in drawing and you say, oh, I should go to engineering. No, no, no. Um, drawing is just like a small percentage of the of the engineer's uh, work. Okay. So kahit hindi ka marun magaling mag-drawing, that's fine. Okay. You will learn drawing later. Now, uh, another field of engineering, we have mechanical engineering. So this is a branch of engineering that deals with the design analysis of manufacturing and of mechanical systems like, sorry. So uh, it, this one, this, their works are more involved in uh, machineries, uh, robotics, okay. Uh, we have also electrical engineering. They focus on the design and development, testing, ma maintenance of electrical and electronic systems and and devices. So this is very wide. Also, uh, this field also is very wide. But I cannot talk too much about this field. Uh, it's up to you to explore. But um, so each field of engineering, they have different foundation. Okay, so. Let's say, for example, this next one, the chemical engineering. So by the name itself, you know the foundation, like chemical engineering, the very foundation is the chemistry. So if you're good in chemist chemistry, then I bet you get the, you pursue the chemical engineering, okay? So chemical engineering encompasses various uh, industries such as chemical manufacturing, petroleum, petroleum refining, uh, we have also pharmaceuticals, uh, food processing, energy production, and environmental uh, engineering, okay? So the good thing is uh, in RS, uh, you graduated in RS. I think, uh, by the way, I graduated, I forgot to mention, I graduated uh, batch 2003. 2003, so we're the third, I think the third batch. Um, so in our in our time, the curriculum is still still advanced compared to like regular uh, high school. Like we have we have advanced chemistry, advanced mathematics. So the, that's a very, although as a student before, I tried to complain like, oh, this is too much for us, like high school. Uh, RSSH is too much for us. I mean, the, the mathematics, the research, the it's, it's too much. But uh, I realized that when I, I realized that uh, when I was in college, so everything is worth it. Then let like you are in RSSH, you have the advanced, advanced courses. So we have, so what I'm saying is, we have the chemistry, so our 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 topics are really advanced. Uh, uh, we have the physics, uh, very advanced uh, topics. That's a very good foundation for uh, for engineering courses. Okay, so more on that. Um, so why why choose engineering? Okay. So why choose engineering? First, if you love if you love problem solving. <laughs> okay. So if you want to solve problem, you want puzzles, you want like you know, mind boggling problems. Uh, engineering will provide you an opportunity to solve. Uh, real world problems and make a positive impact in society. So we are more on problem solvers. Okay. So sometimes in engineering, even if there's no problem, we try to make problems. <laughs> so if you if you have that skills, like uh, if you notice to yourself you want to solve problems mathematics problem, not just mathematics problem, 
then I think every engineering will be best uh, fit for you. So if you enjoy tackling challenges, you want challenges, you want to find uh, innovat innovative solutions and trying to make difference, uh, engineering offers a platform for you to apply your skills and uh, knowledge. Okay, another reason why choose engineering Engineering is a diverse career opportunities, okay? Let's say I told you I cannot speak much on more on other discipline, but let's say in civil engineering alone, you have a lot of opportunity in civil engineering, not just designing a building. So let's say uh, for civil engineering, you have, uh, if you can see here in the figure, you have structural, structural is more on the structure of the building, building design. We have also geotechnical engineering that deals with the soil or the foundations of the building. Uh, we have transportation engineering that deals about, of course, as you see, transportation and then the highway design, okay? So because engineering, in engineering, we. We cannot, we cannot create forces, but we can control forces, okay? So we try to manipulate those forces. That's a, that is the, the basic foundation of engineering. So here we have uh, construction planning and management. So we, have, we, we try to plan also. We have environmental, for civil engineering, this is, this is just for civil engineering. So when you become an engineer someday, there are diverse uh, opportunities that you can follow. So me, I am a structural engineer. So I design buildings. So I have, I have many opportunities also in terms of uh, designing buildings. So why choose engineering? Uh, it has, it can, you know, push you to intellectual stimulations. So in engineering, it involves uh, continuous learning, uh, staying updates with the advancement in science and technologies, and applying that that those knowledge that to uh, practical situations. Okay, so in in the world today, like. Uh, new problems are are occurring, so and it needs and um the mind of engineers for us to tackle those uh problems, right? You know, if, for example, in in civil engineering alone, like our uh, the calamities now are also updating, like uh before we do not experience uh a very strong earthquake and very uh, frequent earthquake. Now we are experiencing that. So it, our engineering knowledge or application must also be updated from time to time. So it, it steers the mind of, of engineers how to deal with these uh, problems, okay? So if you like if you like to solve problems, I think uh, engineering is good for you. And also engineering is in demand, you know, uh, as as our problems now is um, advancing. So we need more engineers. We need more minds. And you know, um, when he's speaking about the progress of a city of let's say a progress of a nation, you cannot um you you always mention about engineering. Uh, let's say progress of in let's say nagboom yung yung city. Um when you say we nagboom yung city, it means yung infrastructure, right? There's always infrastructure involved. Right, so we need we need engineers. So now engineers is always in demand. Now, so in in every board exams, 
Ngayon, you know, we ang output always is um let's say for civil engineering mas kailangan natin ng ng maraming civil engineering. So, I think the passing is like uh, uh I'm not sure, but I think it's like 1000 more than 1000 uh passers per per board exams because we need more uh engineers uh, in demand yung yung work ng engineers and also not only in demand the salary also is competitive okay so of course na uh, may mga ano yan sa mga sa philippine settings medyo um but anyway i cannot speak more about that about the economy of uh ng philippine philippine set settings but but if you go abroad like uh, the standard salary of engineering is a, a bit higher compared to work na uh, kung magwork ka sa Philippines, but it's it's good. But it's, the salary is is still good, okay. And you have a lot of opportunity. Like for me, I choose to be a teacher, uh, but in engineering, okay, I I choose to be a teacher, but I still can work as. Uh, private consultants. Uh, I still do some private designs, so I that's that's my extra income. You see, my my sign is still. Uh, I can still convert my my sign into money, <laughs> okay. But it's not just about the money. But it's it's there's more reasons why I choose uh, engineering, and these are, uh, the reasons like one of the reasons like that i choose engineering okay so now if you if you really want engineering um what are the skills that you need in uh engineering okay it's not just it's not hindi lang na sabihin mo na oh i like engineers i want to be called engineer uh, gusto ko na uh Pagmamatay ako, yung sa Lapida, mayroong engineer. <laughs> o tawag sa akin ng mga tao is engineer. It's not just like that. Okay? Now, what are the skills you need okay, to become um, an engineer? Or if you will pursue the engineering course. So, first and foremost, you must have a strong mathematical and analytical abilities. Okay, so you must be good in mathematics. I, I say that, not just na uh, ito yung gusto ng parents ko. You must have, uh, that's a very basic requirements. You must have a strong mathematical and, and analytical abilities. Okay, so uh, if you really, you know, there's a saying that, um, as long as this determinado ka, you can do everything. Of course, that's that's true, but you have to, I mean, get it the hard way. Like, like the courses, uh, in engineering is at least five year course. So if you do not have a good mathematical background or analytical analytical abilities, it might take you more time, <laughs> uh, at least five years or let's say ten years. <laughs> But you you can do you can do that by persistence and determination. But if you have the good foundation of mathematics analytical abilities, then you can finish it fast. Okay, so that's a very basic requirements. You must have the proficiency in calculus, algebra, statistics, and any numerical analysis is very crucial. Okay. Second, uh, uh, by the way, because in engineering, when you in engineering when you study engineering, it is more on calculations. Okay, I told you, not necessarily that you have a skill in drawing. Very uh, small percentage of engineers' job is drawing, but most of the engineering's job is calculation. So we need calculate. We need to calculate okay so although we have the tools now we have the calculator we have the engineering software but if you do if you do not have the knowledge on how to do this 
or the foundations, let's say, you know, com computer, in computer, uh, if you input wrong, then you get an output of wrong also. You, uh, I mean, yeah, input, wrong input, wrong output also. Now, if you do not have the knowledge why it comes out like that, then it's difficult for you. I say you even you have the calculator or even you have the computer. If you do not have the good foundation, it's it would be very difficult for you to to apply uh, engineering. Okay, so remember that engineering is more on calculations. So you must have an engineering background. You see here in the figure, I show some examples. So the way we look at the building is not like the architect's view, okay? So the architect's view is just the beauty of the building. So you see the, the aesthetics and the beauty, the functionalities. But for us, let's say for civil engineering, we look at the building like as a skeleton. So we convert, we convert the actual or the real building into a mathematic, mathematical view in such a way that we can calculate it, okay? So you will see, you see here, uh, in the actual building, but we view it differently, okay? Uh, remember in your math, in your, in your physics subject, you have um, free body diagram, right? I hope you got it. I mean, you already talked about it. A free body diagram. Like, the, the idea is that our, we have a real situation, actual physical situation, we convert it to a free body diagram or in such a way in that free body diagram, we can calculate the, we can turn the real situation into mathematical equation or we, we use the term model. We use we convert the real situation into mathematical model wherein we can calculate. So here in the figure, you can see here that a building, we convert the building into skeleton. Okay. And we view how the loads, I mean I say loads like people or materials that being used, and how we convert this to these red arrows here. So how the load flows, okay? So, you know, the the carpenters, you know, we have masons, carpenters. Um, they can also construct buildings or houses, like, but it's different in our view because we try to convert forces like uh, earthquake force. We convert like wind force and how it will affect and how the buildings will will behave due to these forces, okay? So the carpenters and, and masons, they, they learn through experience. Of course, uh, sabihin nila, oh, gumawa, ginawa ko na yung bahay na may, may experience na ako na ganito. And then, okay, ganit, ito lang yung sizes na gamitin ng, ng poste natin o yung kabilya, ano ba yung kabilya na gamitin. Or based on the experience, they can say that one. But, but projects changes. I mean, I mean, every project is unique, right? Maybe may nagpagawa sa inyo ng bahay na two-story. Now, what if may nagpagawa naman sa iyo ng bahay na three-story? Now, don't tell me your experience in two-story gagamitin mo lang in, in uh, gamitin mo yun sa three-story. It would be different, right? Let's say yung bahay natin is nasa earthquake-prone area. So, you there are other considerations. That's the job of engineers. So, you have to consider those forces, those uh, situations na unique and apply that to your project okay so yun ang, so that's why i'm saying um, as an engineer you must have the skill to convert this reality into mathematical 
uh, problems and solve this mathematical mathematically okay so another skill that you need uh, you must need scientific and technical knowledge it like physics chemistry and other relevant sciences which are uh, essentials okay so I, I i was i, I thought when i when i enrolled enrolled in engineering i thought um diretso na agad when uh, when first year pagka enroll ko ng first year i thought na magde-design na agad ako ng ng bridge magde-design na agad ako ng buildings which is not um it took us like two years to get the foundation courses like mathematics. So we have a lot of mathematics courses, uh, physics, chemistry, because we need those as foundations for uh, engineering. Okay. So you need also uh, computer literacy and technical proficiency. So that's what I'm saying. Like if you're not, if you are not talented in in sketching or drawing that's that's uh, do not worry about that okay you just need a mathematical uh, ability okay uh, because everything later those drawing you can learn it in a in computer okay so you just need like computer kung mahilig ka sa ano mag yung kumbaga ano yung mag kubi kubi ba ng ano na uh, I think uh, everyone now, uh, like let's say cell phone, you can easily navigate around the cell phone or in the computer. So if you have that skill, then engineering is uh, is for you because engineering relies heavily on computer softwares and tools. Okay, so we draw now. Uh, we draw using the uh, computer. As you see here in the figure, like we we make we design our buildings, we design our houses uh, through computer. Okay, so kahit hindi ka magaling magdrawing, I think maganda naman yung writing mo sa computer. <laughs> you know, everyone's writing will be good in computer. So you see here, and every and drawings, how uh, drawing ng mga house or buildings, it would be very easy. Okay, uh, in computer. Okay, you will learn that. Now, this is just to warn you that uh, studying engineering is very stressful. It's it's not gonna be easy. Even if you're good in math, you will still face some problem or stress. A lot of stress, especially in ah sorry. Uh, engineering engineering courses okay um i i think in 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 our in our college now we before we we took um engineering five years now curriculum are changing now so most of the co colleges now are offering a five year course uh, in engineering but the, the, the courses are very stuck. And so it will be very challenging for you. So, so I'm, I'm telling to you the negatives also. So you will not be... Uh, parang hindi kayo mabigla uh, kung mag-engineering kayo. It's very... It's also stressful. Okay? But of course, every every courses um, are stressful. Like kahit magkuha ka ng AB... AB Filipino nowadays it's not it's not that a, that easy sabihin mo oh, AB a, uh, AB Filipino my, my, I think madali lang kasi Filipino no mahirap masyadong mahirap pa rin okay so expect that uh, when you take uh, engineering now this is one of my fear oh baka pag mag-engineer ako baka masira yung that's why I did not take I did not choose uh, so I did not take the, I mean, I mean, tick. I did not take the, young courses na pipili in, um, civil engineering because baka masira yung building. You see here, this this is one of the example. Uh, this is one of the hotel building in Kidapawan. 
you see? So this is engineer's fear. Baka masira yung ano. But of course, you will learn. Okay? Uh, there are many factors na may mga failures sa mga design. Hindi lang ang engineers ang i-blame i i ng mga ng clients. Okay? Maraming mga factors rin. May mga, may mga types ng materials sa, sa contractors or maybe uh, through time magde-depreciate yung strength ng ng building. So someone asked me, sir, um, hang, up to what years the, is the engineer liable to the buildings? So most of the time, the engineers are liable up to 15 years. Okay, 15 years ng building. So if something happens within 15 years, then somehow my pananagutan ka as civil engineer. But beyond 15 years, wala ka nang ano dyan. Wala ka nang liabilities. Okay? But of course, uh, it's better na yung building mo is mag-retain talaga or stand strong kasi pangalan mo eh. Uh, you have your name. You see, people will ask you, people will ask na <laughs> sinong, sinong designer niyan. Okay? Kahit 15 years na beyond 15 years, people will still ask, well, sinong designer, sinong architect niyan? So, it's better to protect your name. Okay? So, do not just gra graduate or finish engineering na, okay, mabait naman yung teacher, oh, I have the money. Okay? So, <laughs> okay, that's just one of the <laughs> sorry, um, concerns. So, but, if you are an RS graduate. I tell you, if you can just finish graduate, I mean, if you can just finish your high school in RS, I I tell you, you are prepared for college. You know, uh, uh, we have. I told you that we are most of our foundation courses are mathematics, so I was very lucky that I finished in rs no, not not to discriminate other other high school but uh, in rs we have advanced mathematics so the first mathematics courses we had like calculus right uh, geometry we tackled already in rs so advanced advanced masyado yung yung mathematics courses and for me i can see that I'm just I'm just good in mathematics. I'm very weak in English. So most of my grades are, you know, nagpupul yung humihila yung yung English. But I'm good in I can say that I'm good in mathematics. Uh our teacher before like uh Sir Larry, I think Sir, Sir Larry um he's not teaching in RS now. Uh but he gave me like 98 grade of 98 in mathematics <laughs> uh, because some math yun lang yung ano eh. but one thing is uh, i'm very thankful is that we tackle very advanced courses like calculus so yung mga courses namin uh, wala pagdating ko ng college ang lalaki ng grade ko sa sa mathematics kasi natapos na namin yung mga ano eh diba? so very good very good, good advantage now you you uh, you are very lucky that uh you are uh you will be an RS uh alumnus someday and a very good training for you okay so our our school ha has a good reputation of producing high quality students uh ready to ready to enter college someday right so i think i'm not the only one who are um invited as a speaker for this webinar so you see also some other uh, alumnus of our school um which uh which also took who already took uh college colleges easy 
because of the good preparation we have in in our high school okay so in the end uh, engineering is very satisfying so when you see your actual projects you design okay so i'm just showing you some of my these i'm not the main designer but these are some of the projects that i was involved so it's very satisfying it's kind of a monument you know that you can say you're that you are proud um, that oh i'm part of this design okay yo we are the designer of this building so it's a monument life's monument as a uh, very satisfying as an engineer so this one these are i'm just showing you some of the buildings that we are involved oh uh, this is the city hall of uh, somal um this is a big a hospital building in Jensen. Uh, it's still under construction nowadays. And also this one, um, this is the um, Dr. Hissi Veneration Medical Tower. This is also a 10-story building, hospital building in, um, in Jensen. And you know, it's very crucial. Like uh, we have grown marami tayong mga mga ano mga earthquake na nafi-feel in Mindanao so you know whenever whenever there's this earthquake i always check my the, the facebook if if my build if the buildings that we designed are still <laughs> intact or tumatay pa ba kasi you know you have your names there right uh, you are very proud to <laughs> na you're one of the designers like so the reputation, I mean, the reputation is at stake. So this one is the uh, Maranao uh, building in, in Amishu. So currently, I'm I'm designing the all the new buildings in Amishu. So whenever whenever we have a new buildings in Amishu, Marawi, I have to design it. Okay, uh, this one is a twenty-four story. Building a condominium building, I think ipapatayo ito sa harap ng harap ng SM Ecolan. Mm -hmm. uh, we have also aquatic building in UP Mindanao. Uh, so let me leave you with the uh, quote here that opportunity favors the prepared mind. Okay, so it's good to have. Um, a prepared mind so do not question why why rs is very tough because we are, uh the teachers are just trying to prepare you for the world uh, outside so college life will be more difficult but it's better to be prepared okay and then be prepared because the it favors opportunity always favored the prepared mind okay and hard work beats talent when talent fails to work hard remember that no matter how talented you are but if you don't work hard if kite let's say maybe in the school you can say you are talented right in the study maybe you can do that but uh in the real life you still need to study, work hard, because your talent will fail you if you won't work hard. All right? And that's all. Uh, thank you very much. I'm expecting more questions. Uh, please, please do ask more questions, okay? Thank you very much. I'll give back to Sh Sir Shahid. Thank you, sir. Um, okay, um, we can accommodate at least Ten, um, five to ten participants. Okay. Um, nandyan, sir, sa screen nyo yung may mga nag-raise ng hand. You can um, acknowledge them, sir. Alright, let me let, I mean, let me stop my presentation. Uh, again, I, I miss it. So, can you raise your hand? Oh, yeah. Here, we have Mark. Okay, Mark. Good evening, sir. 
Good evening. Can I ask po, sir? Magastos yes. po ba ang pag-aaral ng engineering po, sir? Oh, yeah. Uh, of course, it depends. Um, it depends on which school you enroll, right? Uh, for public, public, oh, I, I was very lucky at that time in, in, in MSU. Um, even without scholarship, like, we just pay like 100 pesos per semester. <laughs> We're very lucky at that time. Now, we, we increased, like, uh, in MSU Marawi, we pay like maybe 2000 2000 pesos per semester i have no idea with private um uh, private school but in um i have idea like in um davao if you enroll in engineering courses you pay like around 20000 per semester uh, ateneo like one ah uh, like fifty thousand ateneo de davao <laughs> of course mga mahal yan. so medyo magasto rin <clears throat> kasi you have to buy although the tuition are let's say in engineering um in emission marawi hindi masyadong magasto and the place also is hindi masyadong magastos but you have to buy some tools right of course laptops you need you need that one. Mm -hmm. I think everyone needs that one. So, medyo magasto rin siya. It's better to have like scholarships. Um, I I gain scholarships when I when I was studying in MSU. So at that time, uh, I received like seven hundred fifty pesos per month, and mabubuhay na ako na at that time, <laughs> way back two thousand three, two thousand four. So medyo, uh, we have our we can buy meal at 10 pesos. Ngayon I think <laughs> hindi na we have you need loads, you have yes, uh, marami nang kailangan. Okay, but where, where do you plan to study, Mark? MSU Jensen po at sir. Oh yeah, uh, MSU Jensen is cheap also. So you pay like 2,000 baht. I thought, sorry, but I'm saying but I'm in Thailand. Uh, 2,000 pesos um, for for the semester. And then uh, the cost of living, I, I'm not sure with Jen San. Is, but I think it's cheap. Yeah. Okay. Because I think of it. Thank you. Uh, we have Liniel. Yeah, uh, yes, sir. good evening, po, sir. Uh, sir, meron po ba yung which um meron po bang retirement ng mga engineer sir or as long as makaserve po sila sir pwede po silang mag build ng building sir. Yeah, there's no retirement. So um as long as you can sign a building, uh, you can sign, you can you um but it it depends on the person right? but there's no specific age for retirement of engineering uh, as an engineer. So may up to beyond 60 years old that's what i'm uh, i'm very lucky like to be an engineer also like now currently i'm teach i'm a teacher so maybe after 60 years old then i, I will retire but then even I'm, if i'm a, i'm retired i can still sign i can still work as an engineer i can still work as a consultant or as a designer so as long as you can sign as long as you are alive then that you can still gain some or earn some money. Yes, Pastor. Thank you, sir. Okay. Who else? I think no one is. Please ask questions. <laughs> or may I know if how many are planning to enroll in engineering? Wala na? <laughs> uh, Mark. Mark, okay. So, so most of you, some of you have uh, took the entrance exam of MSU. Sino, but at least MSU, sino maging MSU, mag-aaral ng MSU. <laughs> oh, good, Mark. Uh, okay. Admin. Who's admin? <laughs> 
All right. Any more questions? Uh, Joshua? Uh, good evening po, sir. Good evening. Uh, regarding po sa quality po ng education po, sir, may ma-recommend mm -hmm. po kayong uh, college po para po sa <laughs> civil engineering po? No, I do not want to be biased, you know, uh, because it depends on, um, like, let's say, courses. Oh, it depends on the colleges. Yeah. But but public courses, uh, public colleges are are good, you know, because we are not we are not after on the on the money, because we are paid by the government. So we really teach by by our devotion to teach. Not not we're not after on the you know number of students, but there, there's still private many private. Uh, What's this? Colleges na magaling naman. Mga magagaling yung teachers nila. Okay? But I, I can recommend, of course, I can recommend my my college from the from the university where I came from. Uh, of which I am teaching now. Okay? But it's, it still depends. You can, pwede mong, ano yan, pwede mong uh, measure through the um, yung mga graduates na na-produce, the board exam passers. So I can say naman yung sa amin is uh, we can, we have a good reputation also uh, of producing a lot of board passers. And, okay? And then we fail students also. <laughs> so we just take it Okay. okay. Who else? Can raise your hand if you have questions. May tagambo ba dito? <laughs> Parang meron may yata engineer dito tagambo. Ah. Okay, thank. <laughs> Ako sir tagambo po. Ah, ah kalupis. Okay, okay, kalupis. Apo sir. <laughs> Okay. Pero hindi ko na naabutan itong mga kayo ng generations hindi ko na na naabutan. Hindi ko na nakilala. Maybe your parents makakilala ko pa. Hopefully next year if I mak maka maka lecture ako sa inyo on site para makita talaga face to face. Yes po. Currently, I'm still in Thailand. Hindi ko pa natapos yung pag-aaral ko. Uh, but next week, I will go home for just short vacation. And balik na naman dito. All right, sir. I'm expecting mga boys yata dito mag-engineer, mag engineering. Ito sila Rampola, Mukrish, si Renz. I think ito sila yung may mga... Plan. So specifically, uh, may mag-engineering sa sa ano sa MSU Marawi. Parang nag-take ito sila sir ng ano mm. ng sase ba? Sase. Opo. Sase. Okay, see you then sa Marawi. <laughs> Hopefully makabalik makabalik na rin ako sa Marawi next year. May question pa tayo. Parang yung iba kasi most of them kasi sa mga babae dito. Mm. Pero mas marami din tum nagte-take ng ano, ng engineering ng mga babae sir, di ba? Pero ano lang mm. yun? Sa isang section parang dalawa mga ganyan sir no. Tatlo. Yeah, yeah. Mostly men ang Pero maraming babae sa ano, sa chemical engineering. Ano? Last year sa oh. ano yung yung batch last year may isa doon nagtake siya ng chemical engineering nasa ano siya ngayon sa IIT? No, IIT. Uh -huh. ah, magaling rin ang IIT. Uh -huh. Chemical engineering kinuha siya kasi scholar din man siya ng DOST. Mm, that's good. My question dito, Sir Grimen, gaano po ka tight yung competition ng field of engineering in terms of work? Yeah, actually the university name will matter also when you work. Like, uh, if you are graduate in MSU, 
it's a good name. I, I can tell you, like, uh, we we had that good reputations na I'll graduate ng MSU, whichever whichever part of MSU or branch of MSU, mas maganda lang yung, maganda talaga yung, ano, um, mas pinipili. <laughs> so maganda yung name, okay? So may mga competitions rin talaga kung uh, saan ka nang galing. But uh, sa, sa start lang yun, sa start. But once you you start working, it's it's more on experience na. Okay? So mga new new graduates, yun may mga competitions talaga. All right? Isa sa mga higher paid ngayon na ano sir up, um branch ng engineering is yung ano um computer engineering because of the technology yeah. yata, yata ang ngayon sir no? Yes. Ah, actually mo, most of the uh, ano mga field ng engineering ngayon nagsi-shift na into technology right? right? So kahit kami civil engineering we have you know we use the power of AI you know we have machine learnings kahit hindi na namin kahit hindi namin ano pero yung yung trending yung trend ngayon eh nagshi-shift na lahat gan, sa ganun so maganda din talaga guys kung gusto niyo mag engineering um you choose yung ano ngayon yung computer engineering mm maganda rin kasi alam po itong Mag- mga, ano mga new um generation um Z natin. Mm-hmm. Uh, ano to sila? Magagaling sa computer. <laughs> Magagaling sa Dota. <laughs> uh, mga mob, mga online games. Oh, online. <laughs> Pwede na lang yeah. siya maging ano, um gawin siya into positive, yung mga ganyan. <laughs> na mga skills. Yeah. Hindi ko to computer engineering. So, uh, I think wala na sigurong gustong mag-ask ng question engineer. Okay. So, we will proceed now with the next uh, part of our um, session. We have the... Uh, um, sorry. The uh, impression. This is impression impression from the participants so we have two participants who will give their impression let's have uh first Liniel Kurt uh yes sir good evening everyone um especially to you Mr. Shai T. Abdullah and especially sir kay um engineer uh Labadan I forgot the name sorry excuse me Ramon Labadan sir and um I found it better as a student po sir na looking forward na mag-proceed sa engineering po. I found it very helpful po na na-introduce po sa amin ang different branches ng engineering like um we have electrical if not mistaken we have electrical, we have mechanical, we have chemical, we have civil engineering and also we have a computer science, a computer engineering sir no? Sir. And also sir, thank you po for introduce na marami po ng opportunities ang civil engineering sir. We have pwedeng maging sa stone uh, structural we have uh, geotechnical mag pwede mag proceed sa uh, mag ano sa transportation environmental and water resources i we have also a constructional and planning environment and sir also sir na amaze ako doon na pwede pa lang kumita sa perma lang and mag, pag naging engineer ka sir magbenta ka mag, mag perma mo lang sir may profit na so mas naging mag may think mi sir na pwede uh, mag proceed siguro ako ng engineering sir then or uh, beside don sir just, uh, i love numbers din po sir like you po and i love problems din po thank you um again sir uh we are honored to be uh to be uh, you as our uh work immersion speaker po again sir thank you po thank you Liniel. and we have the last um to give the impression we have um Bevelin. Um, good evening po, Sir Shad, especially to Engineer Ramon Labaldan. Uh, I wanted to express my sincere gratitude po to Engineer, Engineer Ramon Labaldan for his 
exceptional web webinar on engineering that um, Sir showed and elaborated to us that the world of engineering has a lot to offer po. And we, um, Sir, we, par we particularly appreciate the way you answered our questions with clarity po, especially while you are explaining to us what is engineering all about. And uh, Sir, we almost got speechless on how amazing you are, Sir, as, as an engineer po, that uh, you said that Engineering is not all about money, but it's also ensuring the safety and structure of the building handle and uh, the step-by-step -step achievements that you that you get by. Then, uh, sir, thank you for your expert your ex expertise and willingness to share your knowledge have inspired us for to delve deeper into the world of engineering and explore new possibilities for. So thank you po sir once uh, thank you po once again po engineer Ramon Labadan. Uh, after this webinar po I'm sure all of us especially um to all my classmates that are willing to take willing to take the course engineering will be excited and will look forward to their future job opportunities po. Thank you po. Thank you Bibeline. Okay, thank you Bibeline and Liniel. So let's proceed with um the presentation of the certificate, sir, uh, we would like to, on behalf of the um, RSHS family, we would like to present this um, certificate of appreciation to Engineer Raymond S. Labadan. I'm sorry, um, I I will ano, edit na lang, sir, the, ano, the pronoun here. For he is invaluable um, services ex and expertise extended as guest speaker on engineering during the conduct of work immersion webinar series on April 11, 2024 for the senior high school students. Presented via Zoom on 11th day of April 2024. Um, signed by yours truly and our school head, Sir Bernardo de Libitari, Jr. So I will send, um, I will just send the, uh, the, uh, the copy, the PDF copy to your email. Thank you very much, sir. Before we proceed with the photo opportunity, uh, I would like to um give the last um. Uh, for our speaker to to give a uh, short message, a um, message of um, parang message natin sa kanya, inspirational message natin sa kanila, sir, if meron po or any message po na pwede po natin ibigay doon sa ating mga um, graduating students. Okay, so uh, remember this that um, engineer engineering is not just this engineering is just one of the possible um career that you can choose okay so do not think that you be, when you become an engineer someday all problems will be solved <laughs> all right sabi ng lola ko dati pag mag engineer ka na yung babae hahabol na sa iyo when I become an engineer, it does, it didn't happen. <laughs> okay. So, this is just one of the courses na possible na makuha ninyo, but this is just, this does not solve everything. Okay. Still, your character matters most and your dedication, kung anong kurso na kukunin ninyo or which school you are, you are kahit, kahit pangalan ng school, everything still depends on you and your dedication for your uh, future college life. And good luck to everyone. And hopefully, maka graduate kayo. <laughs> Thank you, sir. So let's have, um, since wala man tayong face to face na ano na hmm. lecturer, let's have a virtual photo opportunity. Um, requesting everyone to turn on their your camera para meron tayong remembrance with our guest speaker. Alright. Pwede kayo magkuha ng picture ninyo, screenshots or ano, picture para meron kayong remembrance sa inyong portfolio. I'm, I'm going to start um, taking pictures. Dalawang page ito siya, maraming participants. We have um, 33 in, um, in attendance. 
Siguro yung iba nag-share na lang ng ano ng gadget sa uh, iba. Hey, thank you. That concludes our um, work immersion webinar series on engineering. Thank you, Engineer Labadan, for your uh, uh, presentation. This thank you thank so you. much. Thank you. Sorry, crap. Sorry, ka. Sorry. Okay. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>